Yo, ladies and gentlemen, what is happening? Welcome back once again to another video. So I was actually going to do a video yesterday, but I've upgraded hastily in my PC to Windows 11, and it's messed about with a lot of stuff. Um, yeah, so I'm still trying to get over that. So yeah, big hello to everybody. Hope you're well. So another Battlefield-related video. Kind of scraping the bottom of the barrel now, because I don't really think there's much news to be bringing you, and... I'm kind of in a bit of a dilemma on what I'm going to do moving forward because I can't just keep on making, you know, videos about Battlefield 2042 sucks, is the worst game of all time, um, blah, blah, blah. You kind of understand what I'm doing. So if none of you follow me on Twitter, please go ahead, follow me on Twitter at um, not Simon B 1471 You can see the name up there. Go and follow me. If you've got any stories you want me to cover or anything like that, you know, go ahead, do it. This is kind of where I spend most of my time, you know, making my videos. So if you tweet me something across, retweet something at me, um, and I think it's worth, um, you know, making a story about, I definitely will. So as you can see here, there's a lot of stuff up on my timeline. You know, I talk shit regular. So, you know, you get more about my personal life. Um, yeah, it's interesting to see that only in Liverpool, you've got 13 sh shoplifting days to Christmas and then a, mid a, a Millwall fans advent calendar. Kind of made me like a lot of that. So basically, guys, what I want to start off with, as we always do, is, yeah, the current state of Battlefield 24. So it's getting no better. Somebody's clipped this and retweeted it from a well-known clan, RA. Um, yeah, 974 viewers at some point watching Battlefield 2. Now, I know that's going to be taken at its lowest point. So, yeah, it's just crazy that it could even get that low right now and then there's other people going on about the um player counts where they're pretty much neck and neck now you know battlefield 5 wasn't well received by the community so yeah when battlefield 2042 which according to certain streamers which we'll go to that in a second um was saying that it's you know one of the best battlefield games ever it just seems a bit hard to believe guys um there's me and my son there if you don't know obviously i bring him up on my own now um, if you tell him to say cheese, he goes cheese like a little bloody Cheshire cat, bless him. So, um, what code is more fashionable to pull a fit woman? Yeah, yeah, guys, it, it all goes, it all goes crazy on Twitter. So, the broken machine actually got footage of an aim bug. Now, I don't know how they call it a bug because it's just, it isn't a bug, you know, like a. I'm trying to think of a way how to explain this. A bug is something what gets through, you know, without them testing it. I don't even think they've tested anything. I think the days of QA testing a game are, are completely gone now. They don't care about the quality of the product. You know, it isn't just Battlefield 2042. You know, you look at across the whole gaming spectrum from the AAA developers. You know, Vanguard's the exact same now. You know, people are bored of Warzone already. We've just had a new map. The new map comes out. It looks pixelated compared to Verdansk. People are asking for dance, but believe it or not, even though I can't stand Verdansk. Um, but yeah, it's definitely a lot better graphically than what Caldera is. So it's like, you know, what's what what what's happening in the world of gaming? People are like getting worse frame rates now on Warzone and even Vanguard, you know, since they've done some updates. You know, the people making these games are can't be, you know hired based on you know achievements and how good they are at the job they've got to be hired by other 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 metrics maybe what demographic they meet who knows you know i'm just speculating there guys so yeah there's an aim bug um as you can see on the screen right now I'll, i will make it bigger because i know twitter but if you see here you watch his stick when it goes slow it's still aiming to the left when he lets go that's a major, major problem. Like, how can they get that wrong when this has never been an issue ever before in other Battlefield games? So I just don't understand how a new bug comes along. You know, they're pretty much using the same stuff, you know, assets and that from other games. So I just don't understand. I, it's just pure laziness. We all know what's happening. They're spending more time thinking about ways to make more money than actually spending that time, you know, to make a video game. And people before have said, oh, they work in different departments. No, you get a budget for staffing. You get a budget for the cost of making a video game. Um, so even though they might be in a different department, they're still working under the same budget guidelines. Um, so, yeah, that's complete horse shit when people try to defend the game. Um, now, this guy, V2 Catalyst, another good tweet. You know, when I see stuff like this, 
if I wasn't to use Twitter to retweet it, I'd forget. And don't worry, we're coming back to the Westy thing right at the end of the video. So, you know, stay until the juicy bit. Um, so, hot take. The current iteration of the scoreboard makes me more toxic than the leg legacy scoreboard ever did. When I have 80% of my squad kills and the top five squads are all on the other team. I really have to restrain myself from typing something <laughs> in um, team chat. I like the funniness there. So, yeah, as you can see here, you know, the, the current scoreboard was clearly made for a Battle Royale game. This would have never got in a game if they wasn't going to make Battlefield a Battle Royale game because we've, we've talked about it before on the channel. There's videos here. Don't really want to go over it too much. But, you know, this, this scoreboard makes no sense in a Battlefield game, which is pretty much going to be played by at least 80, 90% of the people who will play are playing solo. You know, they're not playing in full squads. If you're playing in full squads, okay, you could understand, you know, that th this score method might make some sense, but it makes no sense, but we all know why, because the the original game was just going to be Hazard Zone, and then last minute they think, oh, we better do what the community want. This is going to be a disaster. Yeah, and then they backpedal quicker than, you know, Chris Boardman um, ever did. Um, somebody in the chat, let me know if you know who Chris Boardman is. But yeah, um, again, it's just complete um, shy. And then the last thing I want to talk about, by the way, that's the car I'm actually thinking of getting, guys. Um, let me know in the chat if you think I should get that. Um, like I say, you get a lot more of my personality, more so on Twitter, um, than you do on my YouTube videos. Obviously, YouTube, I just talk about gaming. Twitter, I talk about all sorts of crazy shit. Um, so, Westy, Westy, Westy's gone and blocked me, guys. Um, I retweeted something of his saying, yet yeah, during early access, Westy said the complete opposite. Now, the only way I can view that tweet is by going into a, an incognito window because he can block me on Twitter, but I can still see his tweets unless it protects his account and then I can't see them. So uh, you've even got GG, you know, my boy GG, um, saying, you know, pretty much what I say anyway. You know, he's me and him have talked for years now. So if you open an incognito window, um, Westy is actually saying here, I'd happily accept 128 players being deleted from Battlefield and we just go back to 64 more, sorry, 64 players. If that means smaller maps with higher fidelity, more cover and more atmosphere, sign me up. 128 players isn't it. But what makes me laugh about that, like I said, during early access, he said the complete opposite, that he loves 128 player players in a lobby. He loves the maps. So, so you know, you just got to ask yourself, guys, why is he going and spinning around? And this isn't just Westy. They all do it. The only reason I know about Westy is because people let me know. So if you see any other YouTubers doing this, you know, it's about time that some of us, you know, more serious gamers who are, you know, play video games for a hobby, a pastime, it's about time that we all got together and started, you know, calling out some of the trash what we see, you know, from, you know, YouTubers, content creators who, you know, just basically may as well at this point just be, you know, a marketing person for Activision, for EA, DICE, whatever. So, yeah, you guys let me know. Thank you for watching. No point to talk any longer. But, yeah, if you don't follow me on Twitter, follow me on Twitter, retweet, link me and stuff. And, you know, it makes good content for me to go over in these videos. I hope everybody has, has a great weekend. Cheerio. Love you. Bye-bye.